Hi, I'm David Smith with the Princeton Public Affairs Group. Thank you for joining me for this week's e-news update. In May, the State Department of Human Services proposed tightening the income requirements for New Jersey Family Care, an offshoot of Medicaid, which provides affordable health insurance for working parents and their children. This week, the Christie administration reversed its decision to lower the income eligibility threshold for Medicaid recipients. The initial proposal was roundly criticized by Democratic state legislators, New Jersey's congressional delegation, and advocates for children and the poor. Please mark your calendars and make plans to dine out for New Jersey's Restaurant Week, which runs September 18th through Sunday, September 25th. The event features about 150 restaurants throughout the state, some of whom will donate proceeds to the Share Our Strengths No Kid Hungry campaign. Restaurant Week is sponsored by our client, the New Jersey Restaurant Association, a statewide organization representing 25,000 eating and drinking establishments. A list of participating restaurants can be found at dineoutnj.com. The recent earthquake in Hurricane Irene reminded us of our need to prepare for natural disasters. To learn more about preparation, please go to protectingamerica.org and join, and you will receive weekly updates. Next week, on Monday, September 19th, the Senate Health, Human Services, and Senior Citizens Committee will receive testimony from invited stakeholders regarding issues related to the conversion of nonprofit hospitals to for-profit entities in the state. PPAG will monitor these proceedings and keep you informed. Thank you for joining me. For more information, please go to our website at ppag.com. Have a great weekend.